Now let's go ahead uh, uh, in this video. Let's try to find how do we summarize angle between two lines. You know, let's say that this it's the y ax x axis. This is the y axis, and we have two lines here. You know, let's suppose uh, something like this. We have two lines here. Uh, let's suppose this is line one and this is line two. And let's suppose angle between two lines is uh, angle theta. Another angle is also there. Let's suppose this as angle phi. And uh, we have this as alpha 1. And we have this as alpha 2. And these are the angles between these two lines. You know, one of the angles is uh, theta and one of the angles is uh, phi. One assumption that we are making is that the none of the angles uh, over here that is... Uh, alpha 1 or alpha 2 none of the angles is actually equal to 90 degrees which means out of theta and phi one of the angles would be an acute angle which is less than 90 degrees and one of the angles which be will be an obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degrees so that is an assumption that we're making uh, and we're not assuming any angle to be 90 which means one of them would be an acute angle one of them would be an obtuse angle so let's try to find out the relationship between these angles. Now again, if this is theta, this will also be theta because this is vertically opposite. And uh, since this is a triangle, this is actually a triangle here. In this triangle, we would be able to know that the external angle that is alpha 2 is the sum of the opposite interior angle. So that is going to be equal to alpha 1 plus theta. Uh, you know, again, a property that we'll be using a lot of times, that is the exterior angle is equal to the sum of next two interior angles, the opposite two interior angles, which means from here we'll be able to say that the theta, the value of theta is equal to alpha 2 minus alpha 1, right? Now, we are actually interested in finding out the relationship between theta uh, and the relationship between, uh, what do you say, uh, alpha and, you know, the slopes of these lines. So let's try to find the value of tangent theta. So tangent theta is nothing but the value of tangent of alpha 2 minus alpha 1. Uh, now this, it's if, I, if we apply the property of tan A minus B, we're going to get this as tan A, tan alpha 2, uh, tan minus tan B, which is tan alpha 1, divided by 1 plus tan A, tan B. So 1 plus tan A, tan B. So tan alpha into tan alpha 2 into tan alpha 1. So we have this thing here. Now something that uh, you know we would like to quote over here. It's the value of uh, tan alpha 2 and tan alpha 1. So I will actually you know put that in a different color here. So uh, the value of tan alpha 1 I'll take as the slope of the first line. And the value of tan alpha 2 I'll take as the slope of the second line. Right. So this is what we're going to take. Now if we kind of substitute there, we'll get the value of tan, just put it like this, we get the value of tan theta to be equal to tan alpha 2 which is m2 minus tan alpha 1 which is m1 over 1 plus m1 into m2. Right, so this is there. So which means we now have a relationship between the angle of the lines and uh, between the slope of the lines, the angle made between the lines and the slope of the lines. But however, if we are asked this angle, this this angle, so we know that uh, theta plus alpha, so you know, let me just use that in a different color. Uh, we know that theta plus alpha is actually equal to 180 degrees because it's falling on the straight line. So we know that theta plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees. Right. So that means from here, I can say that the value of theta is equal to 180 minus this phi, which means tan theta, uh, it's uh, equal to uh, tan 180 minus phi. Right. So this is something which is equal to tan 180 minus phi. Now, if you want to bring tan 180 minus phi into phi, so tan 180 minus phi, uh, it's going to be equal to uh, now tan is equal to cos by sine by cos and sine 180 minus pi it's equal to sine x and cos 180 minus pi is equal to minus cos x which means this is going to be equal to tan of phi negative of tan of phi so that means uh, the value of tan of phi 
it's going to be equal to uh, negative of this. So if you try to apply the negative, so that means in that case, this is going to be equal to negative, which instead of m2 minus m1, I'll have m m1 minus m2. Just write it again. m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 into m2. So that is the case there, right? So there are few generalizations which we can actually make out of this uh, expression that we've gotten. Uh, I'll just write that down here. Uh, we got the value of tan theta to be equal to m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m1 into m2. Now, few generalizations from here that we can generate is that if the value of uh, m2 minus m1 uh, over 1 plus m1 into m2, if this is something which is positive, this is something which is greater than 0, then the value of tan theta is going to be positive, right? Because uh, that's there. And uh, then the value of tan theta is going to be positive, And uh, that means theta, it's going to be this angle. You can clearly see this angle over here. And uh, so uh, tan, if tan theta is greater than 0, then theta is going to be an acute angle. Why an acute angle? Because tan theta is positive in this zone here. Uh, you know, in this zone here, tan theta is actually greater than 0, which means uh, theta is going to be an acute angle and the other angle is going to be the obtuse angle. However, in other case, if I say that m1, m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m1 into m2, it's less than 0, that means tan theta is less than 0, then theta is going to be the obtuse angle and this is going to be the acute angle. Why is that? Uh, because uh, in tan theta, it's a negative here, right, in this quadrant here, right, so, so that's there, uh, this would actually give you the values of, uh, you know, the angle between these two lines, which is there, so let's suppose if we want to use an example, now in this example over here, the question says that if the angle between two lines is uh, pi by 4, which is actually an acute angle, so the angle between the lines will actually be given by, so let me just use a different colored pen here. So angle between uh, these two lines would be given by uh, m2 minus m1 uh, over 1 plus m1 into m2. Now since the angle is actually an acute angle, so this has to turn out to be a positive number, right? Because we don't know what m2 is, we don't know what m1 is. So this has to turn out a positive number, which means I'll just put a modulus sign here that uh, this is true when theta is an acute triangle, right? So uh, theta is an acute angle. So this is uh, this there. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute tan theta as uh, tan pi by 4, which is the angle between the lines. That is equal to the line slope, which we want to find, minus uh, 1 by 2, which is the slope of the line that is given then 1 plus 1 by 2 into the slope of the line that we want to find. Now from here, we know that what is tan pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 is nothing but uh, tan 45, which is actually equal to 1 here. So 1 is equal to, we have m minus 0.5 over 1 plus 0.5 m. Right, so this is what we have and a modulus function here. Now this can actually give us two scenarios. Uh, either 1 will be equal to, 1 would be equal to m minus 0.5 over 1 plus 0.5 m or m would be, e uh, negative 1 would be equal to m minus 0.5 over 1 plus 0.5 m. Because if, uh, if I say that, you know, just to let you know, if modulus of x is equal to a, then x is either a or x is either negative a. So that is how you kind of open this up. So if we again open this up from here, uh, we're actually going to get Let's just uh, use a different, okay, fine. So from here, we're going to get 1, 1 plus 0 0.5 m is equal to m minus 0 0.5, which means uh, 0 0.5 m is equal to 1.5. Uh, sorry, it's this comes there. Yeah, 0 0.5 m is equal to 1.5, m is equal to 3. In this case, we're going to get uh, m, what is it? We have negative 1, negative 0 0.5 m is equal to m minus 0 0.5. In this case, we're going to get m to be equal to negative 1 by 10. 
right? So that means if we have this the same this over here, we kind of try to draw this line here. If we have let's suppose this as the y x axis, this is the y axis, and the question said that we had a line with slope equal to one by two. So this is going to be the line with slope equal to one by two, and uh, it says where is the other line? How can you actually draw that other line? So that line can either be like this, which is making an angle of 45 degree like this. And that line can actually be like this, which is making an angle of 45 degrees like this, right? So this is the line with slope equal to three. This is the line with slope equal to negative one by three, right? So this is the generalization that this is giving us here. So I suppose you're understanding what we're trying to do here, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. This would be our website address that is perfect-scores.com. Don't forget to explore this. Give us your valuable like on facebook.com slash perfectscores and uh, perfectscores89gmail.com is there to give us your valuable feedback.